The Colorado Gay Rodeo Association is hosting their 41st annual Rocky Mountain Regional Rodeo this weekend. It takes place Saturday and Sunday at the National Western Complex. And Denver 7's Ethan Carlson shows us how the event has grown since it first started back in the early 80s. Good boy. Pongo is a little nervous. And you're going to look all pretty later. We're going to get you all. We got some conditioner. We got you purple shampoo. Looking his best for a big event. Pongo and I will be doing a lot of events. We got four events. He's all excited. It's Pongo's first rodeo, but we're going to be doing pole bending. We're going to be doing flag racing. That's our favorite. He loves flags. Keep going. Stay in it. Around the barrel. Cade Hiller and Pongo doing some typical events at the 41st annual Rocky Mountain Regional Rodeo hosted by a unique organization. When I was a young kid, right, had I seen the Gay Rodeo or known that there was a Colorado Gay Rodeo Association, I would have been, you know, enthralled. I would have been a lot more encouraged to come out at a younger age and, you know, be myself. Getting started back in 1981, things have certainly changed a lot. There was one year we were bucking bulls at like midnight with our car lights around. This year, the first one at the National Western Complex. Wow, big wow. It's like we went from a small, Coal Creek Arena to this massive center is like, it's unbelievable. Indoors with such a scorching weekend in Colorado. Everybody's going to be able to come in and be a lot more cooler. They're going to have all the stuff indoors instead of outdoors. People aren't going to be getting heat exhaustion. Instead, everyone can focus on the rodeo with a lot of character. We do a wild drag race. That one's fun. Pumps go flying, wigs go flying, dresses are everywhere. Until then, they'll keep practicing, waiting for their moment. In Denver. He's doing good. He's doing so good. Aren't yes, sir, you are, aren't you? Ethan Carlson, Denver 7. <laughs>